Hi everybody, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. Serif recently made an announcement and it's called Studio Link and I think it's the best thing that could have happened uh, to people who use Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Publisher. I don't really use some of these and I'm just learning them. I've learned uh, Affinity Photo in the past few months and I'm really so happy with it. That's why I started giving tutorials. Here's the thing I always had a problem with. For example, when I'm in Affinity Photo, if I want to wrap text around something, I can't do it. I'd have to go to either uh, Affinity Publisher, and I'm not sure, but maybe even Affinity Design has wrap text. If you want to do text on a curved line and follow the line, you have to go definitely to Affinity Design. If you want to create booklets, that would be Affinity Publisher. But Studio Link has them all together and it's free it's included if you buy affinity publisher so let me show you how it works and let's get started so i'm in affinity publisher and if you notice on top right in the left corner their personas are now publisher design designer and photo persona so i'm going to in a publisher i'm going to create a new document so i'm just going to say new and it'll be a press document uh, letter size. Now, again, the, the thing, the nice thing about Publisher is you're not just working with one page. If you, this could have been your cover page, for example, and if you right click and you say add pages, I would add two more pages after page one. So it knows now this is the first page, that's the second page, that's the third page, and so on. So this is a wonderful, wonderful way to work. So now I'm back in page one. Now here's the cool thing. Let's say you added text. So I'm just going to add a text frame and I don't have text but they allow you to have text here and I think there's a fill. Of, I barely, I've used this, no exaggeration, I've used this for no more than 20 minutes so I'm just learning it along with you but I believe there's something called fill and I'm looking for it. I apologize. Insert filler text. Okay. So here we have text. You, just like any other program, you can do whatever font size you want. But I'm just leaving it as is. Let's say we wanted to add a picture in there. So I'm going into my tutorials. You can do it any way you want. And I'm dragging this photo in. Okay? And I will resize it, just like I do in all the other programs. Nothing new here. Absolutely nothing new. Now, here's some cool things. Let's say... First, let's wrap this text, which, which Affinity Publisher is great at. You just go up to the top, and I'm going to choose square in the middle. And, and then I need to leave some space around it. So let's say the right, I want to leave a little bit of space here. The bottom and top. And left, which has a ready space. So Affinity Photo, I mean Affinity Publisher just does this automatically, which is wonderful. And that's what InDesign does. It's just normal for a publishing program. But here is the fantastic part. I don't like this photo the way it is. So all I have to do is go up here where it says Photo Persona. And that's bringing me the tools for Affinity Photo. And watch the tools on the left. They immediately change. I haven't left Publisher. So now I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in, even though I'm in Affinity Publisher, I have all the tools that I want to use in Affinity Photo. So for example, I can go to Hue and Saturation and I want to change that to this. I'm being really, I don't care. I'm just being really ugly here. So I'll change it to that. And I can also do, uh, say, curves on that. And this is really pretty bad, I apologize, but again, I'm just trying to make my point here. And I can also say I wanted to type some text. I can go to text and type uh, great, G-R-E-A-T. Actually, I'll do all caps, R-E-A-T, and I'll give it an area, whoops, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll give it, now that I selected it, I'll give it an aerial black. So make it really big. 
Actually, I'm going to do something different. I'll give it some fancy kind of a color. Let's see. I'm just scrolling through. I'm going to give it what's it called crash black. And so now I could put this here, right? So now I have the letter, this, this word great. I'm going to make sure it's right next to the photo. And now I can move the photo and clip it to there. So now I'm seeing this says great and it has the picture in it. And now I can go right back to publisher, which is pretty amazing. Like I did not have to, I did not have to open up affinity photo. I did not have to open up another program. I just bounced right back and forth. So say now I'm in publisher and I want to do this uh, interesting thing that's, that you can do really easily in designer. I'm going to click designer and I'm going to create a curved path like this. Okay. And then there's my path. Now I'm going to uh, do, I'm going to open text. I don't want the text to be big. I'm just going to go maybe uh, 36 point and I'm going to click here. Now text on path. If you move text here, Affinity Designer is great with this. You click on there and you type, say, T-I-T-L-E, uh, title here, I don't know. And that's all you had to do it. But you never had to go into Affinity Designer. You just had to go uh, click this Designer Persona. So now if I go back to Publisher, there it is. And now I have this wonderful... <laughs> beautifully designed, only kidding, really bad design document. But I'm just trying to give you the idea that this is amazing. And now Serif is having a 20% off sale. So you can get Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Publisher for $39.99 each US dollars. So as of, as of the time I'm filming this, of course. So this is like amazing and it has everything now that I need, like the things I thought that were missing, I'm able to just switch without opening another program. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please subscribe. And thank you, and have a good day.